why they are. This is how I communicate with the people around me. The computer tracks the movement of my eyes with a pair of infrared cameras. This allows me to type and form sentences. Takes a while, but it works. We're lucky in a lot of ways, um, but I also don't want to make it sound like everything's great. I mean, ALS is a really, really awful thing to have to deal with, and um, you know, I don't want to in any way minimize the things that Francis has had to go through, that our whole family has had to go through, or that other people dealing with ALS have to have to face. It's um, it's a terrible disease, and I sure find that I hope that they find something um, that can at least minimize the effects, or that allows people to live with it longer or cope with it better. Um, right now, I think most people consider it a death sentence, and I I don't know that it has to be. Um, I think there's a lot of technology that can help people. I knew eye tracking existed, but it didn't occur to me I could do art till I saw Sarah as a keel's art. Then I really wanted to try it. The software I already knew. Challenges I control and finding workarounds for things easy to do by hand but hard with eye gaze. You know, something that is remarkable about Francis is his resilience. So despite being diagnosed with ALS, uh, he hasn't been a complainer, you know, he just keeps moving forward. He's an artist, he's a creator, and despite all these limitations, he's found a new way to continue creating art. And he's taken technology that Toby's created and has taken it to another level. I think he's doing things that no one else is doing, and he's creating incredible art that still looks very much like his art. It's still the signature Francis Tsai art, you can tell right away looking at it. So we're all very proud of him, and I think he's inspiring people everywhere. He's got a lot of fans from before, and a lot of fans from now as well, and uh, they're all supporting him, just like we are, so uh, we're very proud of him.